In the meantime tonight, major developments in the investigation after the massacre in Las Vegas, the largest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. We have never before seen images from inside that hotel room and what the girlfriend has now revealed. Here's ABC's Clayton Sandell tonight. Tonight, those new images from inside a hotel room turned sniper's nest. A staggering number of rifles strewn on countertops, chairs, beds, the floor, hundreds of shell casings, and a hammer next to glass from the shattered window where Stephen Paddock opened fire. Targeting a crowded Vegas music festival below, murdering 58 people, injuring more than 700. For more than three months, authorities have provided few details about the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. Today, the sheriff released a report he calls preliminary. I've lost a lot of sleep over this. But after chasing nearly 2,000 leads since October, the gunman's motive is still a mystery, though police say he acted alone. He had lost a significant amount of his monetary wealth in close proximity to 1 October, and that may have a driving factor associated with it. The sheriff says he does not expect charges against Paddock's girlfriend, who told investigators he'd become distant and withdrawn over the last year and began buying more guns. The day before the shooting, the report says the gunman twice drove from the Mandalay Bay to his home, returning with at least six suitcases. When police used explosives to blow open his bullet-riddled hotel room door, Paddock was already dead. He believed that we were in close proximity of engaging him, and he decided to take his own life. Tonight, the sheriff says the FBI still has an ongoing case against someone connected to the shooting, but he is not saying who that is or why. David. Clayton, thank you. I hope by watching this video of the new images pertaining to the Las Vegas massacre, you gain a new perspective as to what has transpired in the days, a city weeks, in and mourning. months of the investigation. Its ever nightlife in However, I must stress that after Instead, watching this video, a few questions lingered in my mind. Like, for example, why was the guns and, and ammunition so neatly strung out city, in various locations in Paddock's hotel room? Now, Doesn't this the remind fallen. someone of a black ops Overnight, operation FBI being prepared by armed mercenaries who may or may not be working for the U.S. government? Why wasn't Where there pictures or video footage of Stephen Paddock loading what presumably appears to be suitcases containing the various weapons in which he used to carry out his assault on the innocent victims of one of the most horrific mass murders in U.S. history? Why didn't the authorities present these pictures to the media at such a later time in the first place? Why isn't Paddock's girlfriend being investigated further? Was the real motive behind Paddock's rampage over a substantial amount of money that he lost, which led to him being severely depressed and despondent. Don't know what to do, but I don't believe for a fucking second that Paddock killed those innocent people out of rage over money. There simply has to be more to this than meets the eye and I don't care if anyone calls me a conspiracy theorist on the matter. It was also reported earlier that Stephen Paddock was in possession of child pornography. Whether or not said images of child pornography were sent to his computer by his brother, Bruce Paddock, who was also in possession of those disgusting images, remains to be seen, but it is highly likely that was the case as so far, no one else other than Bruce could have had those images. Another one aspect of this case that is troubling is the revelation that Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department Sheriff Lombardo wants every police radio encrypted to keep the public, independent journalists, and even the mainstream media, from obtaining audio recordings that could shed more light on the Vegas massacre and dampen any possibility that this incident is anything more than a mass shooting. But why would Sheriff Lombardo take such a controversial action? that has received little to no attention in the mainstream news. Are they hiding something from the American people of that fateful day that they don't want getting out to the public? Was Paddock losing money the true catalyst to that event? Was it even the true motive? We may never know, but the cracks in the official narrative appears to be seeping through. Put your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. President Trump called it an act of pure evil and observed a moment of silence at the White House.